Downtown Jacksonville is changing and developing, and today investors broke ground at the future site of Pearl Square, a new development in what's been a vacant lot for years. News for Jack's anchor Janice Harris has a closer look from the site of the development in the La Villa neighborhood. I'm standing near Pearl and Julia Streets, where this new development is going to happen. It's called Pearl Square. And once it's developed, the roads that were once one-way roads will now become two-way roads again. One, two, three. The ritual of tossing a little dirt with a shovel is the first step towards some huge changes in downtown Jacksonville. This spot between Pearl Julia Church and Ashley Streets will transform into Pearl Square. This is just the first phase. In 2023, Brian Mole, seen here, the CEO of Gateway Jacks, came up with the ambitious idea for the overall $2 billion plan with his team. JWB Real Estate Capital and DLP Capital. This one is truly special because this is where we get started. Wow. This uh, is absolutely incredible. It's a really, really cool day and a culmination of a lot of, of hard work and dedication over a lot of years. These renderings show how the first phase looks and will be at 515 Pearl Street with residential and retail buildings with restaurants and two parks. The overall project will be complete within the next two years. 1,200 residential units, a lifestyle hotel, 200,000 square feet of retail store space, a grocery store, pharmacy, and full-service health club. Lori Boyer, the head of downtown development, said this is how to get it done. This is a model project in its entirety of what Downtown Investment Authority and our master plan really want to see. Boyer says this is creating a neighborhood. It is going to be amazing watching this transformation. Jacksonville Mayor Donna Deegan believes this is the first step to something bigger. Mayor, is this a sign that there's a possibility that all the way down 95 in Union Street, that entire area could, could eventually be developed? I absolutely believe that. I think you have to have a catalytic project like this in order to get everything else moving. Deacon is enthusiastic, and now that this development is happening, she wants the city to see itself differently. So I'm just going to say it. Can we, can we officially put an end to the city of renderings comments? Can we do that? Yeah. This is the kind of project that Jacksonville has been waiting for, and now it's happening. The project will total an estimated $2 billion in capital investment over the next 10 years. Now, this is not just going to be for this one block. It'll actually be at least seven city blocks that will be impacted and developed by this project. And this is just the first phase. Janice Harris, Channel 4, The Local Station.